Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're gonna be talking about 20 things you didn't know you could do with the new RC Bandito in GTA Online. So this little vehicle that you can use currently in some of the arena war modes will become available to purchase in GTA Online. But let's first just take a look at the sheer size comparison here. These are like the three vehicles that I think would be compared the most to, or the two vehicles, including this one that I think could be compared the best. So we've got the trophy truck here and the Liberator, and you can just see like the size difference. The size of the RC Bandito is like the size of a normal off-road truck wheel. That's how tiny this thing is. It's not as small as like the terabyte drone, but it is small, like an RC car, like a big RC car. So that is the RC Bandito right there. You will notice that it is manned by two like action figures on the inside, uh, which is kind of cool. We'll also talk about some of the customization that you can get with this vehicle as well. So if we take a look at this vehicle on the in-game website, it's going to be on the Southern San Andreas Super Sports site for a pretty steep price, $1,590,000. This tiny plastic toy cost over $1.5 million and is more expensive than like 75% of the vehicles in game. So I know that alone right there is going to upset a good number of people, but trust me, this car is a lot of fun. Now, another thing that you'll find on the in-game website is it says, please note the RC Bandito must be stored in an arena workshop. It can also be modified there at the RC Bandito workshop. So they said it must be stored there but they didn't say it has to be customized at the RC Bandito workshop, only that there is one in the arena workshop. So I'm not sure how that's going to work because I'm doing this in single player. As you'll see in a moment, we end up customizing this in the LSC. I also don't know how it's going to work with our player. I have heard reports that this is going to be called in via the interaction menu. So I'm not exactly too sure how our players would interact with this car, if they would at all. Uh, like, would they be sort of teleported inside of a, a building? Like, would our characters disappear when they activate it? Because in single player, when you get inside the vehicle, your character sort of like gets hit with this shrink gun and they almost sort of go like inside of the vehicle. It's a little bit awkward. So I don't know if it's gonna function the exact same way in GTA Online, but that's how it is in single player. And when you try and look around in first person, you're almost sort of like sitting on the hood of the car. It's very, very unique. Speaking of things that are unique, the customization of this vehicle. Uh, you're gonna notice that there's a handful of like new categories that you've never seen before, like lids. Uh, I didn't even know what lids were on a vehicle, but apparently it's like the design of the vehicle itself. But before we get that, we have an option for explosives and you can actually add the remote bomb on there, which is basically just a sticky bomb. It's very similar to how this vehicle is used in the arena uh, war modes how it'll probably be able to be detonated in free roam and sort of used as like a, a little makeshift explosive. And then after that, you've got lids and the lids are basically like the design of the vehicle itself. So the default one is off-road and then you have three other options for each one. You have off-road and spoiler, nets and combine. And as you'll notice, there's only a handful of different lids. They just have different upgrades. So for example, you can see the spoiler, the nets, and then the combination of them both. There's also a trophy truck design, which is very similar to the normal sized one. This is just shrunken down with a spoiler, net, and also a combo as well. Now, some of them are different, like the gang burrito here. Instead of it having nets, it actually gets a spoiler and a bull bar, and then the combination of those both. Same with the big brat, it gets a spoiler, and a uh, bull bar and then you can combine them and by far the most unique one is this one called midnight pumping which gets a cage it gets flames and then you've sort of got the combination of the cage and flames so all in all you have five or six different types of rc cars that you can create and some of them will have different upgrades to go along with them too like a spoiler or nets or bull bars or something like that so there's not just one RC car design, there's a lot of them here, which means that all of yours should look pretty different. Now after that, you do have the ability to apply two mines on there, kinetic and EMP. 
Those seem to be the only two options for this vehicle. Uh, it, it kind of excludes sticky and slick and some of the other ones that the other arena ready vehicles can have. And then after that, we have liveries and there's a handful of livery designs that look really cool. The first is Duck Hunter, which sort of puts like this light brown green camouflage design over the entire car, which looks pretty neat if that's what you're going for. The next one is Paintball, which is sort of like this reddish yellow gradient on the back that sort of fades to black at the front. After that, you've got Arctic Warfare. I'm not sure what's so Arctic about this. Uh, it doesn't really give that Arctic vibe to me. It kind of looks like it has flames on the back too. Maybe it's that white like design on the hood. Following that, it is Digital Dribble, which is sort of like this black, white, and like lime green sort of design on the entire vehicle itself with what looks to be like black slime running down the entirety of the car. Following that, we have Super Sci-Fi, which is a very retro looking design. Sort of goes from uh, orangey red to black to white at the front with those sort of straight edge designs. Following that, it's Urban Arrows, which sort of gives off like a graffiti vibe or maybe like a tagged wall or something like that. All I know is this one looks pretty cool. You sort of get the green arrows. It looks nice. After that, it's Pumpkin Monster, which combines a slimy green and orange color on the hood and roof and sides of the vehicle. And last but not least, we have got Fire Breather, which paints the entire car in flames. Now, two things that I was able to confirm here. Number one is the liveries for all the different designs stay the same. So whether you're getting a truck or a gang burrito, you have the same type of liveries. And number two, a lot of these vehicles have decals on them and liveries to begin with, and they will sit on top of the liveries you choose. So you can sort of like double up on liveries here, which is kind of cool. So you really do get to play around with some unique design elements here. Now, the next thing we need to talk about after that is your colors. You actually have some unique options here. The first is primary, which is going to change the uh, main hull of the car. Secondary is going to change only the upgrades that you add. So for me, it was the bull bar on the front. Other than that, it's not going to change anything. However, the two most unique design elements here are amazing. You get to change the little drivers on the inside. So you get to change their helmets and you get to change their suits as well, which is really cool. So you get to kind of see when you're driving this vehicle what their helmets are going to look like and what their suits are going to look like as well. So that's kind of awesome. Uh, after that, the next thing you can do is add a jumping ability to this vehicle, which I did and you can change the rims. So the rims on this vehicle are exclusive to the RC Bandito. They are brand new. However, you can change whatever wheel design you want. Now, some of these designs look pretty wacky, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, either way, it's still pretty cool that you can modify those rims. However, if you actually use the iFruit app with this vehicle, you'll be able to change the color of the stock rims to get any color you want, like a red or an orange or blue or green, whatever you decide to go for. I did a couple of other tests as well. One thing that I found was interesting, you cannot open up any of the doors or trunk or hood on this vehicle. It simply is not possible. Another thing that's not possible is headlights. It does not have any headlights, which I thought was a little bit strange that there wasn't, you know, anything on this vehicle. Another thing I thought was quite strange is there wasn't any like engine performance upgrades for this RC Bandito. And I wondered if that was on purpose because through the use of the mod menu in game, I was able to sort of manually add armor and engine upgrades, but I didn't notice a difference uh, at all on this vehicle. So I'm wondering if it just has like default performance options and you can't really upgrade them. That seems to be the case here. I wanted to do a couple of other tests as well, and I ended up finding out that this vehicle can actually go through the car wash. Now, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to do this in online, but you certainly can in single player, and look how funky this looks. This tiny little RC car can go all the way through the car wash, which I thought was pretty funny. Another thing that's interesting about this vehicle is it looks like it comes with bulletproof tires by default, but it is certainly not indestructible. It can be blown up. So these little things are gonna be susceptible to explosives. Obviously, if you have the explosive bomb on there, you're going to be utilizing that probably the same way in which you use it in Arena War, 
where it'll probably have like a three to four second activation period and then it will detonate when you reach that point. It can be used to take out other bigger vehicles or enemies or anything like that. There's still a lot of questions that we don't know because we're in single player. Like, for example, is there going to be a cooldown on how often you can use this if it's destroyed? You know, what is going to happen to our characters if we call them in in free roam? Are they going to just be put in like this invincible passive mode? Or can you only call it in from the RC Bandito workshop in the arena? So there's a lot of different questions here. But overall, this vehicle is a ton of fun. How does it perform? Well, it performs just like it does in the arena mode, uh, game modes. You know, it's wacky, it's bouncy, it's light, it tips, it flips easily. Uh, it can navigate through and under cars for the most part pretty efficiently. So it's a really fun vehicle. I don't know if it's going to be worth it for everyone to buy, especially at $1.5 million, because at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to use this in races. It's an off-road vehicle technically, but it's one that you won't be able to use in the races. So at the end of the day, it's pretty much like a $1.5 million gimmick. And some people might be interested in paying for something like that, just like the drone that came with the terabyte. But my recommendation is, unless you're just really looking to have fun with something like this and obviously want to have everything from Arena War, this is a vehicle that you can probably be okay skipping out on. I mean, you're not going to be missing anything massive here. Is it a ton of fun? Absolutely. Uh, if you think you're going to have a ton of fun with it, then the $1.5 million might be worth it to you. But that price is pretty steep at the end of the day for a plastic toy car. In fact, this little toy car is more expensive than most of the vehicles that have come out in this update and in GTA Online in general. So as always, I'd love to get your thoughts, opinions, and more on this vehicle in the comments down below. Let me hear from you guys down there, but that right there is 20 things you didn't know you could do with the RC Bandito when it arrives in GTA Online soon. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.